tell us when we're good to go. And we are back. Uh, welcome to Facebook Live with USA Team. Uh, we're really excited to be sharing with USA Team today a taste of Kazakhstan. Uh, as you see, uh, we are in a Kazakh yurt uh, in Gaku restaurant. Um, we are here today with uh, Tom from the uh, USA team who just arrived this morning on Lufthansa, which is our sponsor for today. So thank you to Lufthansa uh, for bringing Tom and uh, many other members of the USA team here to Kazakhstan. How do you feel you just got here this morning? Oh, man. Um, feel pretty good. Uh, are you awake? I mean, are you with us right now? Are you... Uh, physically here, mentally, probably not. <laughs> okay, well, we're, uh, that's okay, because it's your first day in Kazakhstan. We are going to take you on a journey of uh, Kazakh cuisine and local flavors here in this uh, Kazakh yurt, so we're excited to share that with you. Ladies and gentlemen watching on Facebook Live, as always, uh, please write your comments, questions for the team, uh, for our guests here today. Um, in the comments, and we'll be happy to um, answer those, talk to you about whatever you guys want to talk about, and we'll tell you what we think as we're trying Kazakh food. So before we get started, though, let's introduce the rest of our panel today. And are we doing good, Karima? Karima, you want to say hello as well? Karima's going to be here reading off our questions as they come in from our guests. Um, so let's maybe start at the end of the table. Jim. Oh, hello. I'm Jim. I'm the communications director for USA Team. Oh. Oh. I'm Thomas Hayward. I'm an athlete. In Tom, sports. what do you play? Um, I race ski across. Ski across. What is that? Um, it's almost like motocross, but on skis. Four people go out of the gate at the same time, racing down over jumps, bank turns, rollers, and first one down wins. Awesome. So four people go down at the same time. You're all competing with each other. Mm. Are you guys punching each other in the face while you're going down, or is, is there dirty tricks that's happening? Um, sometimes it can happen, but uh, well, it's kind of against the rules. You have to kind of keep it safe yeah. or make sure nobody's looking. Leticia. <laughs> Hi, my name is Leticia. I'm part of the logistics team for the USA team. Super excited to have you here. I'm Chaz, as always, uh, from the U.S. Consulate General Almaty. We're super happy to be having our friends here. And we have... Hello. You want to jump behind us? I'm sure. Well. <laughs> Hello, my name is Anel, and I'm a volunteer. I'm a Natasha for the team uh, for the time of the university. Thanks, Anel, <laughs> and thanks to all of our volunteers. You guys are really, really amazing. Karima, do you have any comments or hellos yet? Yes, we have a comment. Uh, Donna says Thomas is a rock star. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and we have a question. Um, how do you guys feel in your, please, can you tell, uh, can you tell us about your impressions? It's beautiful. It's, it's amazing. Yeah, it looks like it'd be really warm if I was out in the snow. So yeah, you know they say that yurts are uh, warm in the winter and cool in the summer. I can see oh. that. I'm impressed that they can that it all can be taken down and moved around. Yeah, it looks so complex. And we like the explanation, especially on the rooftop, to say is the symbol of it. So that's actually very impressive. You can see the sky. So that's actually very. Yeah, nice. we were talking about the Shangarak, the uh, symbol of Kazakhstan that we are sitting under today. Before we get started with the food, I just wanted one more time to thank uh, our sponsor for this Facebook Live, which is Lufthansa. And once again, Lufthansa treated you right? Oh, yeah. Food good? Oh, amazing. Seat comfortable? Oh. Were you in first class? Uh, no, I was in economy. <laughs> economy. Still yeah. okay? Oh, yeah. Okay. Everything worked? Perfect. Beautiful. <laughs> and worked. hey, and you're here, right? So yeah, I'm made, here. <laughs> you made it. So thank you to Lufthansa for bringing him here safely. Uh, we always fly Lufthansa and uh, they're our partner airline for United Airline, the American airline equivalent uh, partner in the United States. Um, so we always use them to fly uh, back to the U.S. often. Uh, but thanks again to Lufthansa for sp sponsoring um, today's uh, event. So I think that we should get started trying some of this food. Wouldn't you agree, Karima? Uh, yes, of course. And people say you ask Bolson. It means like bon appetit for... What should we get started food. with? What do you think? Mm, this is Bowersak. There is a yeah. suggestion uh -huh. from Jurat. Uh -huh. He's asking to start from Bowersak. Okay, let's all yeah. grab some of these Bowersak. Anel, can you tell us what is this? Would, and jump over here so you can sure. get in the camera. I would name it uh, donut. It's but donut. it's not sweet, but it's so similar to a donut. And I would like to you to know. Usually we drink it with like tea, uh, because like tea might be sweet, and this is not that sweet. 
and this is a very usual dessert. So before we get started, I think we should start with Jim, and let's kind of, for all of this tasting, let's go <laughs> one at a time, and each person can eat and give their reactions and impressions. So Jim, good. chew mm. on it. I like that. What do you think? <laughs> it's like just a ball of dough. Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> I like this. I would eat this. This would be bad if I could eat this every day. <laughs> but I get it. Yeah, with tea, it would be really good. Tom, mm -hmm. try some balsaki. <laughs> Tom's eating his balsaki. <laughs> Any comments, Tom? Oh. Not really good. This would be really good with tea. Really oh. good with tea. Yeah. Fortunately. People drink tea in Kazakhstan, so yeah. I think that, uh, that, that, that that's a, that's uh, that's in good shape. How are we doing, Ainur? Doing okay? We're doing great, and we were asked if we have kumas today. Um, I think we'll have kumas a little bit later, perhaps. But I'm going to protect their stomachs a little bit. Sometimes Americans have <laughs> drinking kumas for the first time, even if it's wonderful kumas, can be a risky proposition. These guys have got to compete, so I think that we're going to skip the kumas and we're going to stick with the kompot. Yeah, that's what um, I was suggesting. Leticia? I wish they have more of these in the cafeteria in the morning for us in the Athens <laughs> Village. That you heard it, University Out <laughs> organizers. We have one request from USA team, more Bausaki in the Athlete Village. some, like, sugar and cinnamon on it. Oh, it's my God, yes. <laughs> Sugar and cinnamon on my Bausaki. <laughs> mm -hmm. Good stuff. Yeah. And this seems like very hot, fresh Bausaki, too, right yeah. out of the, right out of the uh, oven, right? Good. Very good. Thank you. So, Tom, one word to, to describe Balshaki, what would it be for you? Hmm. <laughs> Almost like a croissant kind of style, mm -hmm. it feels. has the same kind of taste for me. Mm -hmm. yeah. Seems like um, if I had a little bit of butter. Be uh, a little bit of butter on that Balshaki. Do we yeah. got to try some, um, maybe wash it down with some compote? Do we want to try some? This is a traditional, what is? what kind of fruit? juices this we think it's dried food mm -hmm. apples a mix and yeah. mix. Mm -hmm. oh yeah they have this in the village i like this <laughs> it tastes kind of like tea almost mm -hmm. yeah it's yeah good. kind of a cross between juice and tea I kind like of flavor Tom? Just keep it. <laughs> no worries good oh man oh that is really good yeah it's refreshing yeah. Mm -hmm. right. we were asked to try adam shek we're gonna try some Urumshik next, yeah. We're yes, getting there. What, yes, what is Urumshik, by the way? Yeah. How does it come okay. pot? Yeah, it's, it's like a very delicious cold iced tea. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's very good. It's pretty natural. It reminds me of American <sighs> iced tea. Yeah, Yeah, mm -hmm. it's like an iced tea. Yeah. yeah. They drink this down in Georgia. It's good yeah. stuff, right? Yeah. That's what it tastes like. This is homemade <laughs> juice. You can't get any more natural than that. Uh, how do you make uh, how do you make compote? There's a special way of making it, right? Yes. Well, first you just boil the. Mm -hmm. <laughs> first you just boil the fruits, and uh -huh. then you boil them away. Like we cook them with like quite a lot of sugar, mm -hmm. and this is the that, that is it. And you make it cool down. Boiled fruit and sugar. Yes. Can't go wrong with that. <laughs> yeah, right. I think that we should skip to the... Let's get to the gold. Let's go to some... Have some kurt. What do you think? Kurt or imshek? Yes, yeah. it's great. Let's try <laughs> some kurt. Which is, I think you've tried some kurt already. I did. Somebody grab one of these white balls. But don't take while too much. You, Careful, oh, don't, break, don't break your teeth on it. I've had yes. this. You might want to nibble on it. i got to say, break. don't break your teeth on it. If we have to take you to the dentist, somebody's going to get really, oh. really well, angry yeah. at me. We already We've had one dentist. Where did I head with ice hockey? The yeah. dentists are good, though. Oh, <laughs> ice, <laughs> ice hockey, I bet. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, just to catch up to speed, we're here in the York with USA team uh, on today's Facebook Jeez. Live, sponsored by Lufthansa as a part of the U.S. Consulate in Almaty's ongoing coverage of USA team at Universiad. Jim, try some. Okay. Oh, we got some Bish Bar Mock coming up in here. Yeah, that's right. Bish Bar Mock, folks. It's happening soon. Jim, just a little. Okay, okay. Jim, I've had this already. already. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. <laughs> it's salty. Really salty. salty. You like it? And then it gets kind of sour. <laughs> salty and then sour. Mm -hmm. Would you carry around like a bag of quartz and walk around and eat it all day with you if you had the opportunity? No. No? Mm -hmm. Sorry. No. Okay. <laughs> Probably not, but. One of them, maybe. I could eat one over a whole day. Uh huh. But Slowly I'm, suck on it. Yeah. 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 I could do that, maybe. Tom. Oh man. Slowly. Don't break your teeth. Don't break your teeth, man. Oh. <laughs> 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 Very interesting. Interesting. It's very diplomatic. Maybe some other adjectives. Uh, 
um, <laughs> have some flavor. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Um, it almost tastes like, um, oh man, what's the word? Um, like almost like a Parmesan cheese ball. Ah, oh, very it astute. Quite cheesy. It's kind of what it is. Yeah. It is a type of cheese. Would you carry around a bag of these and eat them all day if you could? I think maybe. <laughs> yeah? Challenge, um, right? No? Yeah, I think I could probably do it. Yeah, it's a challenge. Okay. Challenge. All right, we'll get we'll get you a sack of court, ladies and gentlemen. If you meet Tom when he's out there doing his uh, motocross skiing, bring him a big bag of court. He's gonna need them, charge him, keep him powered up for the uh, for the games ahead. Uh, Leticia. I actually like this a lot um, because my family is actually from Brazil and we uh -huh. have the same type of cheese taste. Uh -huh. So uh -huh. this is exactly like Brazilian cheese Share from the mountains. A little Share USA, it. Brazil, yeah. Kazakhstan cheese, cheese connection, exactly. right? I like this. I, I could eat this all day, so I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> so I have to be honest, this is actually like the 10th piece of court that I have today. I have a court addiction. I have a court problem. I love court. It's People, like my favorite thing. Here we have suggestions for you. It is um, really great with uh, beer. Oh, that's how I tried it Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. This will go great with beer. I had it with beer mm. the first time. People here are really jealous that you have a chance to try our food. Um, yes. Some of them here, we have a comment um, from... Uh, from Texas. Do you remember that woman from Texas? Yeah. She says, hello from warm Texas again. Enjoy your meal. Jealous over here. Mm -hmm. oh. Hope you're going to bring some some Kazi for me. Nice, <laughs> nice, nice. Well, I think that speaking of Kazi, and hello to our friend in Texas. You know, they call Texas the Shim Kent of America. Yeah. So, um, you know, uh, we always like Shim Texas that way. Whenever I feel like I want to go to Shim Kent when I'm in the United States, I just go to Texas. It's the same place. <laughs> Shenton Kazi, I think we should switch to Kazi next, which is this right here, I believe. The one with the so white So, if you could, you got one, do you have one? Yes, yeah, we all have one. Grab one of these. So, Jim, pick yourself up some Kazi. Okay. And uh, give it a try. This part around the edge is not really edible, but you can kind of bite into it and then just kind Don't of spit eat the it white out. Part this little is plastic what you're part. No, the, uh, this part around the side. Or you could. Anyway, just oh, okay. stick it in your mouth, go for it. like a disc of beef and fat, I think. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Flavorful, mm -hmm. chewy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't like the fat part very much though, but I would eat the meat around it all day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Tastes like a steak. Yeah, okay. Tom? Oh, man. Thomas, we have a um, like comment for you. Thomas, be sure to clean your plate. <laughs> yeah, we want you to finish all of that, man. Try, try your Kaza. Give us uh, your impression of, of your first Kaza in Kazakhstan. <laughs> Mm. Good? Bad? Oh yeah, really good. Yeah, you can tear up some of that kaza, man, right? We can give you some of the big block of kaza to take home. Did you just eat the whole thing? Yeah. He oh. destroyed it. I, I left the white part. Give this man some yeah. kaza. So, yeah, so, so, good. so Kazakhstan, ladies and gentlemen, Tom gives kaza two thumbs up. He's getting some more kaza. Yeah. He's going to eat like everybody's kaza. He probably will. Not going to eat mine. Leticia. <laughs> It's delicious. I actually have this every day in the morning at the Athletics Village. Is this at the Athletics Village? We do have it. It's no. because you don't eat it. I don't see it. I, don't I couldn't know. wait. I ate my kaza. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, congratulations. You just had your first Kazakhstani kaza, which is horse sausage. Yes. Oh. So you had, have you had horse before, Tom? No. You have now, man, and you can oh. never go back. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Once you have horse, you can't. It'll, it'll never go back. You're going to want it, and you're going to go back to the U.S., and you're going to say, where can I buy my kaza? Charles? There's some places that sell it. Uh -huh. Could you remind who we have today? Because people are asking again. Welcome. For those of you that joined, we got some of our friends from USA Team. We've got, let's just go real quick. Jim, Director of Media for USA Team. Thomas Hayward, um, athlete racing the skier cross. And, and uh, Tom just arrived this morning on Lufthansa, our sponsor for the day. Uh, Leticia, Logistics Team for USA Team. And I'm Chaz, the Public Affairs Officer at the Consul in Almaty. Today we are trying Kazakh food. So far we've had... Kurt. 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 We've had... Balsaki. 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 And Kazi. And Kazi. 
Um, I think that we should go for the bish, right? Go for the bish barmak. What do you think? Let's go yeah. for the yeah. bish. Build up to that. People yeah. are waiting for bish barmak. Yeah. Okay. okay, so bish barmak. this is bish barmak. It's the noodles and the meat that's there. I think that okay. you've all been served this around. Yes. So you want to get kind of a, a, a fork with some of your, your noodles on it, and you also want to get a piece of that meat and maybe even some of the onions that's there and just kind of get it all together and then just ah tear it down. <laughs> if you want to eat with your hands, you can because bish, what is what is bish barmak mean? Bish barmak means five fingers because we used to eat it with fingers. Uh, oh. And some people but still do. Yes. Okay. So go with your right hand and just like tear it down. That's right. Jim is going for bish barmak mm -hmm. the only way that you're really supposed to eat it. <laughs> by hand. Yeah. Yeah, Jim. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. So, um... <laughs> Let's wait for Jim to finish his bish. <laughs> Let's go to Tom, and then we'll go back to Jim for his comment on oh, There you go, Tom. We have a comment, Thomas. Go, Thomas, from George. <laughs> go what? Go, Thomas. Go, Thomas! Yes. Eat that bish. <laughs> Jim, still chewing? How I'm is good. it? Yeah, that's good. I mean, it's noodles and meat. I can eat that anytime. That's good. Right. Are you going to go back to the USA and, and, and make some bish barmak at home? Ask somebody. I guess if I can find the ingredients. Is, I don't know. They're pretty good. So that's, that's, that's right, Liz. If you're looking to uh, help out Jim so he can eat bish in the USA, uh, maybe in the comments, if you guys have a good bish barmak recipe, include a link to your bish recipe, and Jim will take uh, that yeah. mm -hmm. and make it in the US. Yeah. There you go. What do you think, Tom? Oh, man. Oh man, <laughs> that's all you can say when you have some good bish barmak. Sometimes you just lean back and you just say, "Oh man, that was some good bish barmak." Leticia, delicious. This is amazing. I mean, what kind of noodles are these? Are these Bishmak? like the like flour noodles or yes, rice? Yes, flour noodles. Yeah. Very good. We call it jaima in Kazakh language. Jaima. Jaima. Yes. Jaima. And always handmade, right? With a yes, giant so rolling pin. Yes. Well, whoever knows a good recipe for this type of noodles, I will make these noodles back home because these are delicious. So that's right. Post your Bish Barmak recipe links. They'll make it back home. Maybe they'll send us the photos and we'll post some more pictures of Bish in the USA. I'm going to get me some Bish. Holy moly, that is some good Bish Barmak. It has been too long since I had Bish Barmak. It has probably been about... Six hours since I had bish barmak last, <laughs> and that is way too long. I need bish about every six hours just to keep a basic level of functioning. Um, I, I think that's probably about average. For yes, and, uh, Thomas, can you tell us again where where are you from? People are really oh, um, interested. I'm from Reno, Nevada, and pretty much grew up there. Um, I skied at um, a local mountain called Sky Tavern, little non-profit ski resort. Um, then after a couple of years of skiing there, then moved up to Squaw Valley. And then it's pretty much been going from California, Nevada, skiing there and pretty much living there my entire life. And when did you start competing in international winter, winter sports competitions? Oh man, um, I have to say probably about three years ago. Mm -hmm. Started competing, went out of the country to Canada for a couple races, and then went down to South America, raced down there. Really? really well. Um, I won the South American Cup last wow. year. What country? Um, in Argentina. Mm -hmm. So um, this is your first like overseas real trip? Yeah, this is pretty much my first time to Kazakhstan, Kazakh. but you've, yeah. you've competed before in South America and yeah, Argentina. But it's not that, years. Yeah. That far. Yeah. It's pretty far. It's pretty well. far. Oh, yeah. I'm from Brazil. It's far. <laughs> but this is definitely <laughs> the ocean. other side of the world for yes. sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so how do you think you're going to be doing in competition? What would you say? How do you stack up against the competition? Um, I have to say I think I'm going to probably – yeah, I think I stack up pretty well to these guys because mm -hmm. we're all pretty much on, like, the same playing field. We're mm -hmm. all going to college. We're all in that same kind of age group. and. We're all going through the same process of doing school and racing at the same time. Mm -hmm. And I think it should be a really good race. And awesome. I think doing when really can well. we see you when we want to see you compete? Um, I'm competing on the – I do my training on the 6th mm -hmm. of February. Then I do my time trials on the 7th, and then I race on the 8th 
Up at Shimbalock? Yep, up at Shimbalock. Awesome. So, C is up at Shimbalock. Um, and uh, we hope that you cheer for him. Karima? Uh, we have a suggestion. Um, uh, the What is goes like really, really, really great with Bash Permac is Sorpa. Oh. So, you can try it. So this is Sorpa. Yes. We're not going to tell you what it is, but we want you to try it. Okay. And then we'll tell you what it is. <laughs> okay. You can probably guess what it is. It's like a soup, a little. I don't know. I'm not sure what it is. It's, it tastes buttery almost. Hmm. Is that weird? <laughs> you think Sorpa's buttery. Interesting. Hmm. It almost just tastes like melted butter with some... Pepper on top. Yeah. Uh huh. Melted butter with pepper on top. And what do you get? What are you reading off of it? You can sniff it first. You. Yeah. Like a fine wine. Fine wine. <laughs> um, in the beginning, I actually thought it was type of like miso. Mm hmm. Yeah. Uh, because I know that some of the cuisine is very Asian, so uh -huh. that that's what I was getting. But then after he mentioned butter, I was like, yeah, it tastes like a little butter, and the, uh -huh. like the aftertaste, uh -huh. you can feel the butter on that. Uh huh. So. Uh huh. What is it? Oh, he just did the whole thing. That's really hot. Yeah, it was oh, like yeah. something too hot. Called <laughs> <laughs> right? What? Uh, what's? What is this? You want to tell us what this is? It is a soup. Um, it's not a soup. It's just like a broth. broth. Yes. Right. Oh. So the meat from the bish barmak, right? Yeah. Is boiled and then they the, the broth that that develop is seasoned and um, and then it, it's poured oh, into yeah. the sort right? Yep. Right. And with some onion. So maybe I knew. Do you want to pan around what else we have, and I don't, and we'll go with the recommendations of our audience about what else uh, we should eat, what we haven't tried yet. So we've got some. What what do we have that we have not tried yet? It has plov. Uh, we have plov. Mm -hmm. We have manti. Uh huh. We have chebureki. <laughs> <laughs> What's this in the bowl? It is. Uh, Over there. What is that? It is kordak. Kordak. Yes. Uh -huh. I guess it's kordak. Oh, I think there's some spicy seasoning, too. Oh, yeah. Is that spicy stuff? This stuff? It's yeah, like yeah. chili. Or mantis. Oh, yeah. That mm -hmm. looks good. All right. So do we have any suggestions about what we should yes, try next? With the plof, people eat this salad. It is tomatoes with onions. It, like, with plof, it's really, really mm -hmm. great. Yeah. What's plof? Plof is this right here. Rice. But what should we try next? Do any of our Facebook mm -hmm. fans have a suggestion of what we should eat next from the selections? Has anybody given any suggestions? If not, I will. Uh, no. There was mentioned Adam Schick. But I'm sure, let's maybe save that yeah. at the end since it's sweet. Mm -hmm. um, let's go for some plov. Okay. Sounds good. Plov-tastic. Plov let's pass it down here to our guests who have recently yeah. arrived. Yeah. Uh, do I take a piece of them too? Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> awesome. Good. How do you guys feel in the Kazakh yurt? How's the atmosphere for you? It's good. Yeah. Hang out in here all nice day. I need a, like a comfy couch, and I'll just yeah. yeah. You know, a lot of times, it's kind of um, at a restaurant we have this table, but a lot of time, most times when people hang out in a yurt, they hang out with kind of like cut, like mats on the floor, yeah. and kind of just lay out, and then people will lay food on a table on like a big blanket, and you just kind of hang out all day, have some food, have some tea. I could do that. Walk yeah. around, <laughs> come back, and we usually do that for about three or four weeks. Nice. Oh. Just eating, sleeping. In the oh, yurt, wow. right? Sounds great. Let's do that. Let's do that, man. <laughs> Stay here. Stay yeah. with us. Oh, Don't geez. go. All right, Jim. Try some uh, plof. What do you think? It reminds me of Indian food. Like, that's the same flavors I get from it. It's like India. Mm -hmm. um, I, I haven't tried meat, but the rice is good. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. Interesting. Thinks it's got a little bit of Indian flavor to it. And uh, and, and what do you think, Tom? Go for it. Loaf. <laughs> I like the name. Mm. Well, the meat's good, too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh. Almost um, like the rice a little bit more Mexican kind mm -hmm. of style. It almost feels like, um, almost like a Mexican barbecue mm -hmm. dish. Mm-hmm. Really. Interesting. So we got... Jim thinks it's a little bit like Indian food. Tom thinks that plof is like Mexican barbecue rice. <laughs> Leticia. I really like the meat. It's very tender, super tender. It's delicious. Um, the flavor on the seasoning of the meat is amazing. The I, I want to know what is this on the rice. 
Oh, Garbanzo this beans. is like a chickpea, right? Oh, it's a chickpea. Okay, right. I was wondering about that. Um, the rice, I agree with Jim. It reminds me of some of the, like those um, seasonings from in, in, uh, from India. Mm-hmm. Um, seasoning. You know? Almost like a saffron. Yeah, I was going to say of, saffron. Right? I was trying to get that word. It might saffron. be a little bit of saffron. It might yeah. have mm-hmm. because it's very delicious. Mm-hmm. So. That's good. That yeah. could do a lot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Plof, plof, plof. That's great. Plof. That's what we need in the village. I'll take some plof. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Our USA team recommends to the athletes' village more balsaki and more plof. Maybe right? they have it. I don't go to Maybe the Kazakh uh, food section very I often. Do. Oh, now you will. Now I will. Now you will. Karima, do you have any other comments? Um, we, they have suggestions to uh, try mm-hmm. kurdak. Mm-hmm. The next try. All right, Karima, do you want to, uh, can you help maybe uh, help us with the Kordak, or do we want to serve it? It's this uh, yes, big bowl course. that's right in the middle, okay. right here. <laughs> do I just need to take a little bit of can everything? Can I get some more of the yeah. juice? Yeah. Any more compost? Can you maybe ask yeah. if they can bring yes. some in? There we go. Oh. All right. Thanks, Anna. So we're serving up some Kordak in our Kazakh yurt. Once again, for those just joining us, you're with us here on Facebook Live. Uh, this is uh, USA Team represented. Uh, we've got Jim, Director of Media for USA Team. Thomas Hayward, athlete, um, racing skier cross here. And Leticia from Logistics Team, USA Team. And I'm with the U.S. Consulate General in Almaty. I'm Chaz, the Public Affairs Officer, uh, with our good friends uh, Karima and... Uh, Anel, uh, who are helping us out, introducing us to Kazakh food uh, today on our Facebook Live that is sponsored by uh, Lufthansa in support of USA Team in partnership with the U.S. Consulate General in Almaty. And right now we are about to try Kordak. Um, so give this a try. This is the meat, the potatoes, the um, um, uh, carrots. Uh, so maybe get a little p- piece of all of it and then uh, and, and mow it down. Are you a picky eater? Oh, okay, good. Me either. I like it. Jim, what do you think? The meat is really good. It's really well seasoned. And, yeah, I like potatoes anytime. I'm, my family's from England, so meat and potatoes, I'll eat that anytime. Mm. Mm. Tom? Uh, <clears throat> man, the meat with the seasoning, it just brings it all up. It yeah. brings it all together. It makes mm-hmm. it so flavorful. Oh, I can eat this every single day, every meal, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Ladies and gentlemen, that's an official endorsement from Tom from USA Team. He said, and I quote, Korduk, I can eat this all day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So if you have recipes for Korduk, please also put those in the comments, and maybe Tom can go back home to the U.S. and... Do you cook? Uh, (laughs) Do you have somebody that cooks for you? I'll start cooking now. Start cooking now. Oh, yeah. Uh, Leticia, what do you think of the Kordak? It's delicious. I agree with them. I mean, super tender. The seasoning is amazing. I'm, I'm impressed, like, how they came together. Mm-hmm. And I really want to, now I really want to know what kind of seasoning is this, because oh. this is amazing. Yeah. I have no idea how do you we, got this together. How, do we know what kind of seasoning is in Kordak? Oh. Um, Karima, do you know? Kordak. Yeah. Do you want to come around behind us so we can see it? We're, we're curious about really what curious. spices, what seasonings yeah. are, are in this thing. Um, I don't know what spices they use, just um, usually they use pepper and salt and um, the taste is, is just a meat taste. Mm-hmm. So it's um, inside of the mm, meat. Lamb. From within the meat, right? Is it lamb or is it beef? Oh, it's lamb. Yes, it's lamb actually. I think it's lamb. Yeah, it's yeah, it like, like lungs lamb. and some like uh, liver. Yeah, liver. So this is cooked like this. Very good. Mm-hmm. Great. Any other questions, comments as we go along? Mm-hmm. <laughs> American nomads, we have comment. <laughs> oh, American nomads, yeah. Here, uh, of course, in a yurt, which is the uh, traditional Kazakhstan's uh, nomadic dwelling, um, that all of this comes apart and, and, and people are able to put it on horses and then take it across the steppe to the next um, settlement, raising up the Shangarak above the uh, above the yurts as they uh, had these delicious meals. Do you guys know what, what a big Kazakh meal like this is called? Have you heard the, heard the word no. yet? No. Oh. What's the name of this? This is Dastarhan. This is a Dastarhan. So there's Dastarhan. your Kazakh Dastarhan. word for the day. Do you guys, let's, can we say Dastarhan? Dastarhan. Oh, Dastarhan. Dastarhan. 
Dasterhan. Dasterhan, the big Dasterhan. Kazakh banquet. Uh, yes. I have to say, my suggestion would be please have more cuisine back in the U.S. because I think people need to be more exposed to this. This is mm -hmm. delicious. Yeah. If there's any folks that can recommend any good places to try Kazakh food in the U.S., please let us let know. us know. Otherwise, put your comments uh, and uh, links to recipes um, under our Facebook Live, yeah. and and then anybody that's watching this can maybe look at your recipe links and uh, make food like this. So what's your favorite dish so far? Good question. Oh, okay, hold on, I remember. If I know. It's actually this last one, the lamb. Korduk? The korduk. I mean, no, this is amazing, the noodles with the meat, but I, I actually prefer lamb. Mm. And for me, with this type of seasoning is amazing. So I give a vote to korduk. <laughs> My vote is for that. Tom? Um, korduk? Korduk is your favorite, the last one? Oh, yeah. Yeah? By far. Number one. They used to lamb more. Yeah, mine is probably that, and maybe just the the bread. <laughs> uh, I'm afraid you, you all gave a bit. wrong answer. The correct answer is always bishbar mock. Okay. I'm afraid I'm going to have to take you back to Lufthansa oh. and put you back on the plane to the United States um, because bishbar mock is the most delicious dish in Kazakhstan. But glad that you guys enjoyed korduk and uh, everything else that we've had so far. I think that we haven't had. Um, have we had Monty, no. Monty yet? Oh, Boy, you want to have that, and that's the no. Let's do Monty. Do I try the Monty? Somebody grab one of these Monty today. Has one on their plate. This is also um, one of the foods that you can try with your hands. Uh, and we're gonna start with Jim. Try some uh, Monty oh, yeah. for us. You can also put that hot stuff on it if you want. Oh yeah. Oh, that's oh, yeah. Fill it up with some of that hot stuff, and then he's gonna have to choke. Right? Okay. <laughs> he's gonna choke on. It's gonna be great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just by, yeah, just a bit. Okay. Just. A bit. <laughs> I have more comfort for you. <laughs> People I like, like to use manta with ketchup and mayonnaise. Uh, wow. with, with, with smetana. Uh -huh. Is this like it could be like a it's snack? Like onion and meat in a like a little. Mm -hmm. You need to answer plate. quickly, mm -hmm. very quickly. Don't think about it. Yeah, right. Burger or kurda? <laughs> oh, kur oh, burger. Sorry. <laughs> you like a burger better than kurda? Yeah. You can have a burger or kurda. What do you have, Tom? Kurda. Korduk, beat the burger. Korduk for sure. Korduk every day of the week, all day. If I could have a korduk like and a it. bun, maybe that would be good too. Yeah, I'm sorry. I still or love a it. burger with korduk on top of the burger. Mm -hmm. Right? <laughs> I'd do that. Sure. And then, yeah, and then some lettuce and maybe some bacon on top and then some more korduk and then another burger, oh, toasted <laughs> pretzel oh, bun. Man. Boom. That sounds terrific. Verdict on Monty. Delicious. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Delicious. This could be an awesome snack for midday, afternoon, or like late at night. You're coming mm -hmm. back from going out. Yeah. This is amazing. I, I think that you need to have a food truck with just Monty food truck mm -hmm. in the U.S. outside mm -hmm. of a club or something mm -hmm. like that. And people come out late and get some Monty, get like a pack of ten of them. and. Is it always just uh, the same thing, or do they put different things? In? Yeah, they actually do. My mom likes to put a pumpkin there, and it's really, nice. it's really good. Yeah. And yeah. It can be with any kind of meat. Meat and Monty, pumpkin Onion. Monty. Are there other kinds of Monty? If there are, you know, yeah. let us know in the comments. Yeah, that's like a world of Monty, like the story in Kazakhstan. They have like 12, yeah. Let's go like there. 12 sorts of Monty. Nice. Mm. All right, I haven't had my Monty yet. <laughs> That is some good Monty. Everything's been great. This is all delicious food. Mm -hmm. Thank goodness. Um, any other comments, Krila? Uh, what about chibureki? You haven't tried it. Oh, that's true. We've not tried the chibureki yet. Yeah. Thank ah. you for I've been waiting keeping score. I hope it's good. Jim's been waiting for this chibureki since he got here looks, last week. It yeah. looks fun. Kind of, I'm, I'm sensing thing. not that interested. No, it's it's like the same thing, it's the same ingredients inside. Yeah, same ingredients. Mm -hmm. I told you, oh yes, I told you, Tissi about that. That mm. we have the same ingredients, but Tom likes the chicken. Yeah, I like that. We have meat everywhere. Yes, and all. Mm -hmm. Tissi. So, we have the same thing in Brazil that were done by the Japanese. Huh. A Brazil, Japan, American, Kazakhstani I'm telling you guys, dining connection. The world is too small. It's amazing. It's all it's all the Silk Road, man. <laughs> it is. I'm right? saying. Yeah. So the Japanese in Brazil they introduced introduced they, this exactly this, and we call in Portuguese pastel. Huh. It's actually the name that we. So that's why I was wondering what you guys call this because we have exactly the same, but we call pastel. Uh huh. Amazing. Yeah. I like that. So. It's it's the same but easier to eat. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, so 
That's good. You can take a bag of these up to mm -hmm. Shimbalock yeah. with you and, you know, that. power you up before your match. Hey, one more time, can you tell those of us just joining us, if they want to come and cheer you on in competition, when can they come see you play up at Shimbalock? Um, I'll be up there on the 6th, 7th, and 8th up there. Um, the 6th, I'll be just doing training. The 7th is my time trial. And then on the 8th is when I'm actually going to be racing and competing against all the other athletes from all the other countries. Super. So go up to Shimbalock, cheer on Tom uh, and all of USA team. Um, I think one thing that we maybe want to move to now is the um, Orem Shuk, right? Because um, I, I think that that's all. We've tried all the main foods. Maybe you can yes. try something that's a little bit sweeter. Uh, it goes great with tea. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we I have some tea, tea that's going to yes. be poured, some traditional Perfect. Kazakh tea. Um, so everybody grab some Orem Shuk. It's one of these little pieces of um, honey brown colored... Uh, Goodness. Nazia mm -hmm. tells us this is the best video. Thank you. Oh man, <laughs> only for you. Only for yeah. you. Well, thank you for having us for this amazing food. You guys are awesome. Mm. It's chewier than I thought it would be. Mm. Yeah. That's good. Oh, what is that? Hazelnut? No. Hazelnut? Mm. I'm picking up some hazelnut. Yeah. <coughs> Prima, do you have a. Um, usually it is just uh, cheese. Mm -hmm. um, it's like a. Um, oh, it tastes like cheesecake. Yes, That's what I'm cheese. thinking of. There it is. It's like a cheesecake ball. Uh, a cheesecake ball. You know, Kazakhstan is actually the cheesecake factory of Central Asia. That's what they. <laughs> that's what it's known as. The nickname. Yeah. The nickname. But uh, so says maybe guys won't be eating for two days after all this food. <laughs> I know. <laughs> the thing is that Kazakh food's kind of addicting, and once you have some kaza, for example, three hours later, you walk around like a zombie going, kaza, kaza, <laughs> give me some more kaza. And the worst thing is, when you go back to the United States, is we don't have kaza, and you're like looking for, for places to get it, and there are places to get kaza if you know the right people. If you know places <laughs> to get kaza in America, write it in your comments or send us a message so that we know next time we go back. Um, Tom, what do you think? What I'm shook? Really good. It's almost pretty much like a, like a mini cheesecake that I can just take anywhere. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is perfect to drink with the hot tea. Mm -hmm. And hot tea will be coming in just a second. Mm -hmm. Anything else we haven't tried? I think we've tried just about everything. What's this white sauce? I think that's like oh, a, that a smetana. It's like a it's like a, um, a a sour cream kind of thing. What would you? Will you have that with your monty? I believe, right? You have some. Yeah, you, you, well, here people do with everything. Yeah. Yeah. Can you put some on your balsaki even? Cold cuts. Oh, right. yeah, there's some other cold cuts here. Do we want to try one of each of these? This is also a kind of kaza, I think, right? Right here? We have it in our plates. Yeah, yeah one? Let's yeah. try this right here. I think this is also... It, is, it looks like tongue. I think okay. it's tongue. Yes! Oh, Why did you say that? I was just going to eat it and now I'm nervous. <laughs> and you were going to guess what it is and we were going to say, it's tongue! It's tongue! Great. So we have a question. What's your favorite food in the U.S.? What's your favorite food? Wait, first of all, let's, let's find out how we like the tongue, and then we'll answer that question. Tom, tongue, your reaction. Very, very Tiny. chewy. <laughs> um, the texture is a little weird. Mm -hmm. A little weird for, for some people. Have you had tongue before? No. So this is your first time tongue. This is your first time horse meat, right? This is what else is your first time? First time milk milk ball court. All this is brand new for you. Yeah. What's your reaction? Is this what you expected with Kazakh food, or is this something totally different? Um, with the horse, a little expected, and then everything else is. No, nah, I was not expecting any of this at yeah. all. Not even close. Yeah. Really, really good food. Better than you expected. Oh yeah. Nice. Way better. Beat all my expectations. Beat all, you know, Kazakhstan's a place, does it every time, beats all your expectations. You expect great things, it's even better. Jim, tongue. Yeah, I did, I, I don't know, the texture's weird to me, but other uh -huh. than that, that's Leticia. the first time I've had Have tongue. Have you had tongue before? I love tongue. I love tongue, tribe, you name it. Did they eat a lot of tongue in Brazil? Yeah. We have everything. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Uh, it's good stuff. It's um, really good. Let's uh, try, we tried the, tried the Yodam Shuk. Let's maybe finish it off. There's this one too. Um, with some um, tea. Ooh, yeah. Shall we, uh, let's maybe raise a, raise a cup to our uh, 
followers and our fans across Kazakhstan that have come out for uh, Universiade, and special thanks to those that rooted for USA team. Let's try some Kazakh tea, ladies and gentlemen. Cheers. Ah, oh, delicious. Mm. You can say hi from Astana. That is good. Hello, Hi, Astana. How's it going? <laughs> this is a little bit sweet tea. I think is this like um, Tashkinsky or something? It's like it's a little bit sweet tea. It's not the it's not the black tea with milk. Maybe it's green. Tea. Yeah, it's uh, it's sweet. I think maybe there's some honey in it. That's good. It's delicious. Yeah. Thank you. Oh yeah, those go really well together. People mm -hmm. thank you for a lot for Life Channel. Oh, great. Well, I'm glad that you're enjoying it. Uh, if you have recommendations or suggestions for other interviews or other things that you'd like to see on Facebook Live, uh, write that in your comments as well. We love your feedback. And we're planning on doing this every day throughout the university um, uh, until it finishes every day about 12, sometimes later, 1230. So just kind of keep an eye on, on Facebook um, uh, as we do um, lives and we uh, post lots of photos from the events. Um, so I think we're going to wrap up in just a few minutes um, so that we can enjoy the rest of this food. Karima, do we have any other comments or questions? Anything we missed? <laughs> Thomas has many fans here. Good job, Please Thomas. Thomas. Thomas, you are super, you are a rock star. We love you. Oh, it. man. <laughs> love all you guys. <laughs> One's mom, I think. And again, Thomas just arrived that this morning on Lufthansa. He's been in Kazakhstan for like six hours, and he's already in the yurt. Super impressive, right and it's here. just an example of Kazakh hospitality. <laughs> um, anything else we missed, Karima? Okay, well, we want to say thank you. Any final last notes from the group? Thank you for giving us delicious food. It's good. And yeah, thank you for the hospitality. <laughs> thank you for pretty much everything here. And with Tanza getting me pretty much here, and now I'm having this amazing meal. And never thought this would ever happen. I never want to leave. <laughs> you are a rock star, man. You're going to stay. People stay. All I stayed. Everybody stays when they come to Kazakhstan. Um, I just want to thank everybody from Kazakhstan. You guys have been amazing. All the volunteers, the people cheering for the U.S. We love cheering. So please come out to cheer for him in Shingolak. We would love that. Thank you for the amazing food. We want to have this food back home. So please send us your comments where we can get this food back home. So. Thanks, thank guys. We appreciate your openness to the cuisine. Kareem, any last thoughts before we um, say goodbye? Yes, people say um, Kazakhstan will Welcome you to come again and, and like good luck. Good, wish good luck. Thank you. Awesome. Yeah. We'll see you guys soon. Thank you for being with us on Facebook Bye. Live. We'll Bye. see you guys later this week. Come Thank and root you. on Tom and USA team. Yay! Yay.